Epilogue. Thanks for the dance. Clark, called Jonathan when he came home. Lex was here. This is for you. He gave Clark a small box and a letter. Lana's necklace was in the box. Clark read the letter. I found this necklace in the cornfield, Clark. We're friends now, so please keep this box. My mother gave it to me many years ago. It's very special. Lex. Clark opened the box and saw the necklace. He didn't feel well. He closed the box again, and he was okay. It was a special box. I must remember that, he thought. Hello, Clark. It was Lana, in his room in the barn. Lana, he said, surprised. What are you doing here? You didn't come to the dance, she said. She walked up to him and put her arms around him. Let's dance now. They danced to the music. Clark closed his eyes. Suddenly, he heard a car. He opened his eyes. Lana wasn't there. It was a daydream. He looked through the window. A car arrived at Lana's house. The necklace. Clark took it to Lana's house. He put it on her front door. He was back in his room before Lana opened the car door. He moved faster than the wind and nobody saw him. When Lana arrived at her front door, she saw the necklace. She took it and put it on. Oh, Whitney, you are fantastic, she thought. Good night, Lana, Clark said quietly. Thanks for the dance.